welcome again to Freaks for Tech. In part two of this video, we're gonna cover the cleaning part of the process. So the cleaning of CPU and GPU blocks, reservoirs and pump, tubes and fittings and radiators. Everything must be clean to avoid any other corruption of the future coolant. So we have removed the CPU block and we gonna open it for first to see if the brown ring on the top is rust or not. We clean the base from the thermal paste, we remove the fittings and then place the water block on an even surface and remove the full M4 DIN7991 screws attaching the copper base to the top using 2.5 mm Allen key in counterclockwise direction. Meanwhile guys, please click on the subscribe button and also on the ring bell. This for support me and allow YouTube to notification you when I will post a new video. So thank you and Examining the screws, we see a little of rust, but on the black screw and with this low light it's difficult to let the camera see it, sorry about that, but it's clear and visible on the clear top. Removing the top, we see how the coolant, the too opaque, has left pieces stuck on the fins of the copper base and around the o-ring there is a little of dirt pretty pretty bad to see moving on the gpu side sorry guys i've lost the opening video it's my fault i don't know where it's gone i have removed the block without removing it from the car I don't want to clean and reapply the thermal paste and the thermal pads. This because this GPU with uh, HEB RAM is very, very delicate. Here the situation seems baddest than on the CPU. We see gross debris on the fins and also here sign of rust on two screw. Hmm, this is not good. Now, for clean everything, I follow Jay's two cents advice using toothbrush and white toothpaste. Fortunately, the dirt will go away very, very well. The real problem is that the coolant has left a tiny film on the nickel plating that is very difficult to remove, even scratching. And I don't want to scratch too much because I think that the nickel plating will go away. As you can clearly see on the camera, it's not more shiny as it was like new or after the using of the view, but it's opaque. and. This is very bad for me. So, after some cleaning, this is the result. All is clean, but some dirt remain on the fittings. And that's require an extra cleaning. And here, my fold the cracked top of the reservoir to waste. Now, follow me on the remounting part of the GPU block. You have to set the O-ring on the plate and then place with very precision the cover on it. Now, take your 2.5 Allen key, secure the 12 M4 skew on the place and on this water block there are three skew of one side and the others of other sides. So 
check the right position when you remove them. So you can be wrong when you reapply them. Don't close them too hard or you will damage the top. Now position the back plate and see which hole you have to fill. We have three M2.5 X4 AX1 screws to reapply before install the back plate. So take your Philips skew driver and start from them. Always use the plastic washer under each and every screw. Replace the back plate on the card and start secure the remaining six screws. Now place the RGB plate and secure the free skew and free 5 then 7991 with the allen key after that it's time to align the terminal to the block and secure other free skew and 4 do not over fighting it or you will break the plexi top be sure that the o-ring are in place or will be leakage. Then, when the terminal will be in place, you need to use the last two screw and four for attach the terminal cover in the block. Perfect. Now it's all done. Now place the stop fittings, well clean, and the upper fittings, inlet and outlet, on their place. EK recommend to keep on the left the inlet and on the right the outlet, so we will follow the instruction. Now it's time for the CPU block. Align the top with the back following EK instruction. Reapply the jet plate and insert on the top. Reseat the preformed gasket, the O-ring, into the gap between the mounting plate and water top block. Pay attention to the orientation of the copper base. Wrong assembly will lead to severe performance penalty. Place the mounting plate and make the sandwich. We clean again the screws with paper to remove the last traces of rust and we install the M4 screws and fighten them using our 2.5 mm Allen K in clockwise direction. Okay guys, all done. Oh, Jesus, wait a moment, what's there? I have forgot the jet plate for the GPU. Damn guys, okay, I need the magic and BAM! Jet plate placed, yeah! Okay, now it's time to reassemble the pump and the reservoir. So, take the 4M4 screw, secure the top on the pump and the reservoir, and final, our new cracked top. Yeah, I hope it will not leak. The O ring will bypass the leakage, I hope. You can watch my other video about mounting pump and reservoir combo for Singularity computers. Place all the fittings, the inlet, the outlet, the alpha cool RGB ring and the reservoir tension ring and go. Now we are ready to remount all on our shiny like new water cooling pieces in our case. Okay, guys, that's all for today. See you on the third and final part of this video when I reassemble everything and I will fill the system with that expire silver view. Thanks for watching and as always thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to support me and comment below what you think about what you see and if you ever have a problem cleaning your loop or how many times you do this kind of deep cleaning work on your system. See you guys and goodbye.